framing versus cropping later, part two. If you missed part one, make sure you catch that. And thank you to everyone who hit like because it makes me want to make more of these. So, you know, I'm that shallow. I need a lot of likes, okay? <laughs> Please hit like now. All right, someone using the widescreen. Cool, just be careful with your levels. Hit level so that... That didn't work. <laughs> Undo! I don't know what it did there. I don't know, I'm kind of seeing the house. Maybe it is level. Maybe I'm not level. I think I'm not level. I don't know, that looks straighter to me. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This is a cool, I like the widescreen here. I feel like this should have been a little bit more space or a little bit more information, but I don't know, I don't know. Let's see if it was a four by six and we composed it like yo, or Bob Rossi. And that's, man, that, that's a cool, what a shot there all day. Look how cool that is. All right, this is just an alternative crop. I'm not saying that it's right. The widescreen was cool, but this looks like a cool painting. Um, so just an alternative there. Let's see where the horizon is. Maybe we want to bring it down a little bit further so that it's not in the in the center. Oops. I don't know why it happens to me all the time. I'm talking to myself now. That's cool. I like it. You. That's neato. Uh, I don't feel the balance here. By the way, look at the chromatic aberrant. That's not what this video is about. I would say, this is really pretty, by the way. I would say that in my mind, I would... Try to put her on a third, that's all. You see how there's too much on the right? Maybe just a little bit more, and boom. And I wanna straighten, I don't know why, boom. And it's still bothering me, I don't know why. I feel like maybe there, boom. Yes. Oh, dude. Love, love. I'm gonna leave it, I think it's beautiful. I would say the only alternative, these poles work, so we don't have to do any kind of cropping. It looks like it's already widescreen, by the way. Like if we go 16.9, it looks like it already is 16.9. So we're gonna take your 16.9 and we're gonna make it like um, 16, you know, like 16.3. <laughs> yeah, I ruined it, I'm sorry. I like this here. Uh, maybe too much going on? I wish the guy was in the light. That would have been cool. Or maybe putting him in the rule of third. We don't need that much sun in the corner and we do need this building and this alley. And we don't really need the pole because the pole is cut in half. So I would say I would have recropped this as that. And let's use auto here. Bring the guy up just a little bit. I'm not editing your photos. I'm not, I'm not editing your photos, but just a little bit. I like the splash of red. I love roses. Rosies. Auto, I'm not editing your photos, Lightroom is. Black and white, oh gosh. I'm not editing your photos, I promise. This is cool. Um, watch junky stuff in the corners. We don't need that. We don't need you. We don't need them lights. So I'm gonna go with a boop. Oh, 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 boop. Let's put him in the golden delicious. Um, this may work as a square crop, actually. The train. Yo, I like that. Especially if you like over vignette it. Yes. I fixed your photo. <laughs> anyway, that, that is the picture is him on the phone. That's so cool back there. Um, but a lot of the other stuff, I don't think the other elements really worked as well. Um, so just the thought. Cool. This is a good crop. Good composition. Her eye is in the rule of thirds and her hand is in. It's awesome. I thought that was a cool photo. You know what I'm gonna say, Pepe. 16.9, baby, 16.9. This would work as a great little widescreen here with the uh, the pier being in the 16.9. Now this I picked because it's so simplistic, but it, it actually, I'm not editing your photos. I am not editing your photos. It's not what we do here. Um, I just thought, I just wanted to use this as an example of how the composition works. Tree in the background is like some kind of spiral perfectness. <laughs> the bench is, and the grass is a rule of thirds. So think about your composition in camera. This one works. Uh, level, hit the level, bam. 
that gives the horizon. Uh, you know what? Lightroom doesn't know what a horizon is. Oh, I do. That's why the grid sometimes is good. Oh, I ruined it. I ruined it. Lightroom does know. This might be one where the blue sky is just too much information. I would widescreen 16.9 this. This would be a cool print, you know, maybe. Um, but this might be an example of where you can move your body a little bit more. I feel like the house in the back, which is a good element, is too close to the edge. And this guy is too close to the bottom as well. So that's something to think about is you maybe could have lined up your body a little bit more like we talked about with the building in my photographs to get a better composition because cropping is not helping. Cool, this is a quick grab of the guy and he is kind of in a rule of third already. So this composition works. Um, yeah, what is this, money? Nice. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Cool, auto, auto. I'm not editing your photos, I'm not. I'm just looking at blacks and whites. This is cool, I kinda like this, um, has a lot going on here composition-wise, these lines work. The only thing I wanted to try here was what if we um, got rid of the top? So meaning, what if the composition was this last triangle? You see the gray triangle at the top? Here, this, this I'm pointing at the screen, you can't see that. <laughs> this right here is what I'm saying, this last little bit. Let's get rid of that and see if we make a triangle and hit enter. And now maybe that triangle kind of works with the other gray triangles and people are like, what the hell's going on? And that maybe works a little bit more and then straighten out this building to make a rectangle. And now we got a cool composition. Is this a bird? What is this? <gasps> They're watching you. They're watching you. This one's a little bit too much sky, so I would probably bam, and maybe, whoa. Maybe something like this, where the rule of third is the land back there. You know, the subject is here. That's what we're most interested in. And by the way, you you know, don't forget about your radial filter here. Your radial filter gives your subject just a little bit of sunlight right there, you know what I'm saying? You know, give them a little clarity there. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we're totally cheating. Um, but you can totally use tricks like this to make your images just a little bit more interesting. I don't think I'd go that much on the sky, but uh, do dodge and burn, that's not what this video is about, but composition is also about highlighting your subject and sometimes you don't have the right light that does that. So sometimes you have to add a little radial filter or something kind of gradient. Man, this one was so interesting that I picked it and I was staring at it thinking, damn, how could this composition work? First of all, there isn't a lot of room for the subject, but I can kind of see from this corner that maybe that's the end of the seats right there. <sighs> Wide lens also distorts if you wanted to do some kind of composition, but some of the things that could happen is what about something like this? Look, you know, that, <laughs> that kind of gives you like a little bit of a different perspective. You could have shot it vertical, that's one. And I love these front seats, but if we had to remove one row of seats, then that maybe gives us a little bit of interest. Also putting him in a third kind of up there. These are all acceptable, you know? And it's, it's cool to try different things. That's what this video is about too, is there's no right or wrong. Love skating, any skateboards get in. I was a skate kid, man. I was a skateboard, had a Hosoi board, was a Mark Gonzalez fan. Yeah, I still love skating. Um, the only thing I would do here is wah and wah. That's it, that's it, it's done. Love it, too much sky. Just a little too much sky. So, so I would take, let the rule of third hit that mountain and then you're set, it's already looking awesome. And I'm not editing your photo, but clarity, baby. <laughs> Love this. Uh, think equidistant. So you see how much space is from her bun and her toe to the ground? So I'm gonna hit auto, let Lightroom do something there. And her toe print is so cute right there. So I'm gonna just bring it up about that much so that she's kinda equi. She's equi. And then that to me is a little bit balanced. Now notice the horizon is not level. So if we hit level on Lightroom's thing, it's also equi, equi, and then the horizon now, it doesn't have to be straight in this picture because she's beautiful. I love this, as soon as I saw a classic car, but you gotta edit your photos, bruh. 
Um, just a little bit more light. Let's make it super golden hour. I'm not editing your photos. Um, I kind of like that it's skewed. I love this crop. Like, hey, it's okay that this crop is there. So this was making me happy. I don't know why I picked it. It's one of those things that my brain, maybe just that much, maybe that much, maybe that much makes me happy. I felt like the car was kind of tilted, but it's okay. I love it. I love it. Edit, edit Lightroom. Give me something. This is cool. Like this line, the steps work, the little leaves hanging down. She's on a rule of third composition, A plus. Straighten. You see how she's dipped backwards? Level it. Why did? Why are you so dumb, Lightroom? Why? She's falling even further back. Uh, color's not doing anything for this photo. I'm not editing your photos. I'm not editing your photos. I'm not editing your photos at all. So what I'm saying here is this is cool. Like, that's why I picked it. I don't know why I picked it because I thought it was cool. And composition-wise, this could be... If you look at the overlays, rule of thirds works. Um, this, I'm gonna, like this one kind of works with the triangles and the shapes. I love that. The uh, golden delicious works. And I think, let's see if this works. I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe? <laughs> that one always throws me off. But um, I just know that composition wise, the person in, the th in this little, you know, maybe this would work a little better, but Great picture. Oh, this one I just picked because I loved. Uh, Horizon might not be straight. Let's see what Lightroom says. Lightroom, you're stupid. Lightroom, it's like, it's gotta be straight right there. It's still crooked. Now bullseye compositions for me sometimes work, especially in nature where it's like one leaf or a shell. This leaf, it works being in the center. This guy doesn't work in the center. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. He looks super cool. This is a center composition that works. This could be like an ad or something. Let's just see what happens if we uh, crop him and put him. Let's uh, keep it as the original crop here. Lock it. And uh, just to play around, you know, his reflection uh, is very much part of the photograph. So even putting him in a rule of thirds is a different photograph. But I don't mind a bulls. I use bullseye compositions all the time so with the... the teenagers and portraits I do. I love straight on compositions. Um, they work for me. <laughs> another cat. I lied. I have another cat. I was using this to show there isn't really much going on here. Your photograph really is with the cat. So I would say rule of third and use her as an accessory here. Like she's getting smacked in the face. <laughs> so I think this maybe is a little better composition, but that's just me. What do I know? I thought this was great, this photograph. It just needed some uh, a little bit of editing and, of course, 10,000 amounts of clarity. Um, but let's... It's a little wide, like, for them as the subject. In my mind, I was like, you know what? It's a little wide, even though these windows and stuff look great. But let's bring them down to the third here. You see? So now we have the door, this door that's down here, them in the third... And we're sacrificing that much. And I think that works a little bit more. Uh, auto, bam. She's bullseye. But here it doesn't work like the guy in the water because I feel there's like too much distraction in the back. We're going to start looking at the beach. So I think that with this composition, I would have done this where I put her. This is too wide. Let's go with a 4.6 here. Let's go with a 4.6. And I'm not saying this is right. I'm just saying what I would do is that the plant would be sort of, you know, she really is the photograph here. Her look is cool. Her smile is cool. And the plant complements her. We don't need the other plant. Unless you were framing her with two plants, kind of like yo, uh, but you're not. There's just other stuff going on in the background. I love this photograph, but then I was like thinking about it. Why, what, how could we make it better? By the way, always protect your highlights. These highlights are gone, you see? Um, you wanna make sure that you protect the sky there. So this is one where I was thinking would be a widescreen, uh, sorry, getting rid of um, a little bit of the sky that's blown out. Let's try that. And of course, level. And color is not doing anything for this photograph too much. So you feel, you know, if color doesn't add anything to the photograph, sometimes you could be like, you know what, let's just go with a black and white. 
and let's kind of use more sand than sky. And I think that maybe a little bit, I, the story is not the sky, even the sand, like leading up to the people is a little bit more interesting and those waves look great. The sky maybe looked better if it was, you know, like maybe sundown and stuff, but I like this a little better. This picture I put up because I liked, I just want to be there. <laughs> Edit your photos, people. Edit your photos. Look at this, watch. Just a couple of sliders. Yo, um, so this I thought was amazing. I would just, I think, I think it's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect, except for no editing. I love it. Uh, let's try a wide. We're gonna ruin it now, but I just am curious to see if we forgot the reflection and used the rule for the bridges. And that kind of works too. Like that would be a really pretty print, I think too. But. You know, it I, it seems like when there's a reflection of some kind that we don't want to get rid of it. You know, we don't want to get rid of it. Oh, she's so cute. So this is one where it's an amazing photograph, but there's two little elements here that for me ruined the photograph. So check it out, check it, check, check it. Watch this. So if we did this, we kind of put her in a rule of third where she's looking up at these two. I love that. This is almost like a bank ski kind of thing. And then if I was printing this or something, if we got rid of these guys, let's just clone for now. Oh, these guys are distractions. They're not part of the photograph. This now is manipulating real life. But how cool is this? Cute, it's like a little bookmark. You see how that versus this is a, you know, a little bit different. Oozy boozy. He's cute. Distractions in the back is all. So I would put his little nose on the third. I'm thinking something like this. Yeah, that's cool. I loved working with this one. I looked at it and then I was like, eh. then I was like, you know what? This one is a great little like still life slash minimalistic photograph where you can play around with different crops. So for example, using the lines and the rule of third, I feel that here, is a little bit more balanced. Like putting this guy in the corner and these three over here, see that? That's one thing. That's one way you can go. The other is if we did our wide, I don't know if that works here, but where we have the leaf at the bottom on a third, that also maybe works a little bit, not so much. I need a little bit more top. Yes. Anyway, you get the idea. Cute kid, the only thing I thought here was she's, her finger is very close to the edge. So composition wise, just worry about that, you know? Um, same thing with this dog, he's too close to the top. Um, too much sky. Anytime you have too much sky, um, crop your photo in. We can go four, six here, why not? Why not? And then this car is coming out of the wilderness. Let's just pretend. I thought this was awesome, mushroom love or something, but let's get in just a little bit more on them is all. And of course, Clarity Maximus. Oh, sorry, that was DeHaze. <laughs> Clarity Maximus, I love. Uh, center, this is so cool, I love this, but too much sky. So if you're going for this one-to-one -one crop, I would say I love it, but get that rule of third through her face. So only about that much is bam, Man, you could have a whole series of portraits that, that do this look, and I love it. So let's see, do we want her equi? Let's try equi, you see toes? Toes to head equi. Square crop is another thing you could do. So think just about same at top, same at bottom um, is another thing. Cool, I thought this was great, but I feel like this maybe would work as a composition that's a vertical. Uh, let me see. Let me try. Let me try it. Let me try it here. Whoop, whoop. You see the kid ends up being on a third and she, he's, you know, so there's a little bit more to the story here. There was just too much distraction on the side. I love this photo, but you cut his uh, fishing rod, which is really important to the story because I don't know what he's doing looking out. I mean, is he looking down at somebody or is he fishing? <laughs> I love this. Look, I, this is what I why I picked this, guys, because I love it as a vertical. It's like pretty awesome as a vertical, but put them in the thirds, you see? Maybe. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
And then clarity that puppy. I love it. That's a great photo. But you know what? We lose something at the top. You might be onto something. That's cool. I like that. And then, of course, if you quickly turned your camera around and did this, you know, like if you just, how cool that would have been too. Like, so you turn the camera and you're like, click, got two shots. And then you're like, kill yourself at home. Like, which is the better one? <laughs> I love this person and rule a third on a square crop. And I'm super jealous of anyone that has a beautiful white border around their photos. I like almost want to start doing that. It looks so cool. I love this photo just for the light and the mood. Uh, composition wise, I maybe would have put him in a little bit more. Like who cares about this thing here? Uh, I know that's hard to explain, but he, I wish he was like in the third a little bit more, you, you know, so uh, here he is in the third a little bit more, but we lost some of the environment. So I, it's an example of moving your body to get a little bit of the rule of third. I wanted to show these two together because it's a portrait composition, both beautiful. I love both. Uh, one using a wider lens close up and one using a telephoto further back. And um, in this one, the person fills the entire frame. So I love it. It looks great. In this one, she's in the frame and you can see the environment. So I love it too. So both work. I probably, if I was shooting this, I would want her to be more prominent because she's beautiful. So I would put her maybe like that. That's all. I love this because I love watches. I'm a sucker. Love the square crop. But for me, it's right here, the square crop. Do you see the difference? Square crop is there and then it works. Uh, nothing is going on here. I love this photograph, by the way. Nothing is going on there. So I was wondering, I, w I haven't tried anything with this photo, if something like this would work a little bit more. You see, since nothing was going on in that corner, but this house is going on, maybe we have more balance here. You know, one, two, three, I don't know. Maybe I ruined the photo. Beautiful, too much above her head. You see, rule of third could probably go through her eyes there, or forehead, or eyebrow. And now, beautiful. Love, but straighten it. This is this was one of my favorites, too. I love the meat going through the law, <laughs> this guy looking. Um, you know what sucks is that, I, you know, if I take a picture like this, and then I realize later I need to fix the crop, I shoot crooked all the time, and then you lose parts of the photograph. Like, her, her sneaker should be in the photograph. But you captured a moment, which was great. And sometimes when you try to straighten photos, you crop off feet and stuff. So it's probably better crooked and keeping... Ooh, that was Ben Franklin? Oh, I love this photo, by the way. You know, the inclination is for people to like black and white this and make it a black and white street photo. But man, I just love color. Oh, we'll end on this one. This is a great photo here. Uh, there's a bunch of different things you can do with this photo. And that's why I end on this one is first of all, look at a one-to-one -one here crop, right? Totally works. Like this one works as a one-to-one -one because they're balanced in the corner. Love, that's number one. Number two, it works the way it is. Let's sh we should have started with that. It works with the way it is. Okay, they're in the corner, perfect. Third, turn camera. <laughs> turn camera and get this crop. Look how cool if, you, if this was a shot of your kids too. Oh, awesome. Little negative space, never hurt anyone. And bookmark this puppy, you know, like let's bookmark this widescreen. This one is the craziest, but how cool if like, bookmark baby. This is one of those photographs where like anything works. So I wanted to end with that. I know this was a long video, but I know some of you are learning from these videos and appreciate them. So if you want to be included in the next time we ask for photos, just follow, hit the bell. And every now and then I'll post and I'll be like, give me your photos for something. All right. I hope that was helpful. See you guys next time.